Hi, this is Phil from Pencil Doodling, and this is a review of the Winsong 3008. Right, the cap unscrews, so in theory that should keep your um, ink nice and wet uh, when you're not using the pen. And there appears to be uh, what feels like a, a rubber collar there, which in theory should again keep that seal quite tight. Now, in order to fill this pen, it's basically got its own internal and permanent, I suppose convert you might call it, but basically it fills the entire barrel. And that's as far as that goes down there. Now, I had to tighten this ring at the top here because I found that until I did, this whole top section came off in a rather worrying fashion. And that included the plunger inside. So if this was full of ink at the time, that could have been a most unfortunate accident. So before you do anything with this pen, I advise that you hold the barrel here and you get a rubber glove and you just twist that ring there until it's tight. And you'll notice that even then, when I twisted it around, there was some movement there of the plunger. So this is going to get loose over time. So my advice is hold on to this uh, metal uh, collar here when you're actually turning that to move the uh, the plunger up and down. Um simply because it means that, you know, if that top comes off, you've got ink everywhere. Let's just move that down to the bottom so that we can suck some ink into there and see what it performs like. Now, before I do anything, you can see that the nib itself is a fine nib, um, stainless steel. The entire body appears to be acrylic. And I can't tell if that section there is joined or if it's, it's all one piece and that's just an O-ring around it. I'm hoping it's an O-ring around it because it's bad enough that that end falls off. Okay, so let's put some ink in it. Now today I'm going to put some J. Urban Leader Tay ink, which is a rather nice brown ink. I'm not too sure how well it's going to perform with a fine nib. But let's find out. Okay, so since I know I'm going to be dipping the nib into the, uh, the pen, it's a good idea to have a tissue handy. So put my nib in there like that. And let's draw the ink up. Now to draw that ink up, I am just twisting the ends there. Now that really filled easily. So although I had my gripes about the actual uh, security of the end there, I, turning it drew the ink up into the barrel very, very easily. And there doesn't appear to be any leak afterwards. So in theory, my pen should be good to go. So I'll just pop that down there. Now, one thing I do like about this pen, especially from a recording a video point of view, unlike a lot of the pens I have, the actual shape of the body appears to be... The, the round body is actually angled so that it's not... Uh, oh, of course, now it's going to roll. It doesn't roll as easily as some rounded pens. So I can literally put that there and you can actually see the nib for a change. So that's good at least. So let's see what kind of marks we can make with this pen. Now, because I filled it through the nib, it's going to work straight away. And one thing that immediately jumps out at me as I'm testing this pen on this smooth card is how smoothly uh, the, the nib glides over the paper, which is a surprise. Uh, again, because of my experiences with that end piece, I was already expecting bad things from this. But honestly, that's actually one of the smoothest nibs I've used. So that's very, very nice. OK, uh, as you can see, there's quite a lot of ink sloshing around in there. I am a big fan of, of these uh, barrel fillers because I love seeing the ink in there. It's, it's so easy to see how much you've got left. Uh, now, some people would say they want to know what the pen is like posted. But honestly, I'm a bit nervous about posting anything on there because I don't want to twist that ring and the top come off. So I'm not going to post it. 
it felt like it was a bit of a tight fit when I put that cap on there, but I just don't want to risk it because I think posting it runs the risk of basically twisting this, this end piece there and all of this ink I've just put in the pen sooner or later is just going to come out all of my desk or, or, or anywhere. And I'll just use that ink blob there so that, you know, it's not marring my paper. just stop for a moment there all of those lines drew smoothly without any skipping at all really nice pen to draw with uh, no feedback on the nib although this is very smooth card it's a very nice pen to draw with ridiculously cheap uh, a little bit worrying um, about that end piece but really really enjoyed it and design wise i don't think the pen is too bad either uh, it's a little bit gaudy with these shiny metal bits for my taste but uh, i can't ignore the fact that uh, when drawing with it, it was very nice to use, so 8 out of 10. Mm -hmm. 